One of the questions that you likely face every year if you're a renter is to renew your rent or not. Do you continue with the current lease or do you find another option? One of those options could be a different rental or it could be purchasing a house. So what's the difference in purchasing a house or continuing with the rent or leasing a new place? Let's talk about that for a moment so that you have the information you need to make a confident decision on moving forward with leasing a home or buying a home. In the past year, current renters and new renters have seen the rent go up based on information from Realtor.com. Three out of four renters, 74.2%, who have moved in the past 12 months reported seeing their rent increase. The strain from recent rent hikes isn't exclusive to renters who have recently moved. Nearly two-thirds of renters, or 63.2%, who have lived in their current rental between 12 and 24 months and likely renewed their lease have also reported increases in their rent. And if you look back at the historical data, it shouldn't be a surprise that rents have increased. That's because according to the census, rents have risen fairly consistently since 1988. Let's take a look at this graph and you can see how much rents have climbed over the last couple of decades. So if you've considered renting as an option, in 2023, it's worth weighing whether this trend is likely to continue. And the 2023 housing forecast from Realtor.com expects rents will increase and continue to climb. The historical increase has been about 5%, but in 2021, that increase was 10%. And in 2022, that increase was 7.7%, and it's projected to be 6.3 in 2023. Now, this forecast shows that these rents are going to continue to increase, but not at the rate they've been increasing. However, what's forecasted for 2023 is still above the historical data from 13 to 19. So that means if you're planning on renting this year and you've not yet renewed your lease, more than likely you're going to be paying more than what you already are. So, is home ownership an option for you? The rising cost to rent might mean that now is a good time for you to consider purchasing a home. I was working with a buyer over two years ago. They reached out to me last week because they made the decision a couple of years ago to rent. And with rents continuing to increase, he said, now is the time for us to buy. Even in the midst of the buyer's market that we have right now with interest rates and prices, buying a home for them makes more sense than continuing to rent. And here's why. Owning your own home provides more stability in what your monthly payment is going to be. You're able to lock in this cost for as long as you own the home. Freddie Mac says this, monthly rent payments may increase over time, but a fixed rate mortgage will ensure that you're paying the same amount each month. With a fixed rate mortgage, your interest rate is locked in for the life of the loan. Steady payments allow you to budget wisely and make plans for the future. That monthly payment may change a little bit, but that will be based on homeowner's insurance and if the taxes increase. So if you're planning on making a move this year, locking in your monthly housing costs for the duration of your loan can be a major benefit for you. You can avoid wondering if you need to adjust your housing budget based on the whim of your landlord changing the rent price because you're able to lock it in for the length of the time that you have that loan. Plus, as a homeowner, you get the added benefit of home equity. That's grown substantially over the last few years and is going to continue to grow. In fact, the latest homeowner equity insights from CoreLogic shows the average homeowner gained $34,300 in equity over the last 12 months. And as a renter, your rent payment only covers the cost of your dwelling. When you pay the mortgage on your house, you grow your wealth through forced savings that becomes home equity. It adds value to you. So again, if you're thinking about making a move this year, you don't want to continue staying in the rent trap that you're in. Let's have a conversation so that you're prepared whether you want to buy a home in the next six weeks or the next six months. Let's have a conversation now so that you can have the information you need to make a confident home buying decision. Hi, I'm Jeff Jones of the EXP Realty. Visit meetjeffnow.com to schedule a conversation for us to talk about your home buying goals so that you can make a confident decision or visit readytobuyscore.com to discover how ready you are to buy. Have a blessed day.